Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the 8 facts about coffee you probably didn't know. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Is coffee good or bad for your health and your body? What are the properties of coffee? This question may have occurred to you and you have come across different answers to this question by searching. Some people consider this drink good for their health due to its beneficial properties, and some disagree with this opinion and believe in moderated consumption of coffee. In today's video, we are going to be sharing with you 8 facts about coffee you might not know. So, stay tuned with us. If you like topics like this, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Number 8. High Antioxidant Properties The first thing that separates coffee from other beverages is its high antioxidant content. The antioxidant content of coffee is even higher than cocoa and green tea, which are known to be rich sources of antioxidants and can be considered the king of food antioxidants. Some misbehaviors, such as smoking, drug use, poor diet, exposure to chemicals, and sunlight, can cause the body to produce free radicals, which can lead to complications such as cancer and heart disease. Antioxidants fight with these substances and prevent side effects. Number 7. Effects on short memory. The properties of coffee help strengthen short-term memory, the second most important property of espresso, French and Turkish coffee is short-term memory enhancement. A study by a group of Austrian researchers on volunteer students found that the short-term memory of volunteers who received 100 mg of caffeine per day, the amount of caffeine in a cup of coffee, performed better than other students. The experiment did not provide accurate information about how caffeine works in the brain, but what was found was the effect of caffeine on certain parts of the brain, which has a direct effect on short-term memory and increased brain function. Number 6. Reducing the risk of heart disease. Other properties of espresso coffee, Turkish and French, reduce the risk of heart disease. Another study on coffee consumption in the Netherlands in 37,000 people over a period of 13 years found that 2 to 4 cups of coffee per day, regardless of espresso, cappuccino, Americano, French, and Turkish, reduces the risk of heart disease by 20%. Of course, do not forget to inform the seller when buying coffee that you decide what device, mocha pot, espresso machine, French press, French machine, coffee maker, and cooker, to use to prepare coffee. One of the main properties of coffee is to prevent inflammation, and this issue causes the consumption of coffee to reduce arterial damage caused by inflammation and thus reduce the risk of heart disease. Number 5. Effects on Types 2 Diabetes one of the special properties of French, Turkish and espresso coffees is reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. A 2009 study found that consuming 4 cups of coffee a day reduced the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 50%. Among the reasons that scientists have stated for this issue are the anti-inflammatory properties of coffee, the caffeic acid in coffee, and the protection of insulin-producing cells by coffee. If you still have doubts about buying coffee and consuming this enjoyable drink, do not miss the rest of the video. Number 4. Reducing Risk of Liver Diseases Reducing the risk of liver disease and liver cancer is another amazing property of Turkish, French, and espresso coffees. Scientists believe that consuming 4 cups of coffee a day, on average, reduces the risk of liver disease. An average of 4 cups of coffee per day has been declared appropriate. Coffee is inversely related to the level of liver enzymes so that as coffee consumption increases, the level of liver enzymes due to inflammation increases. It should be mentioned that excessive consumption of coffee will lead to side effects such as heart palpitations. Number 3. Effects on Depression 
researchers have found that there is an inverse relationship between coffee consumption and depression risk and the risk of depression, and one of the properties of coffee, including espresso, French coffee, and Turkish coffee, is to decrease depression. Coffee consumption reduces the risk of depression by 20%. The reason for this is the control of dopamine neurotransmitters and serotonin. Number 2. Reducing the risk of gout. One of the most beneficial effects of coffee, which is less mentioned in coffee-related information, is the reduction of the risk of gout. A study of coffee consumption of about 90,000 nurses over a 26-year period found that people who drank more than 4 cups of coffee a day had a 57% lower risk of gout. The study also found that people who drank between 1 and 3 cups of coffee a day were about 22% less likely to develop gout. In addition to the above research, other large-scale studies were conducted on a community of men, which found that daily consumption of 4 to 5 cups of coffee by 40% and daily consumption of 6 cups of coffee by 60% reduced the risk of gout. Based on research conducted on nurses, it was found that the antioxidant properties of coffee by reducing uric acid can reduce the risk of gout. High concentration of uric acid is one of the main causes of gout. Number 1. Improving brain function. Among the amazing properties of coffee is the improvement of brain function. Caffeine in coffee increases brain function. The way it works is that caffeine, known as a stimulant, blocks the brain's readiness to move and work by blocking the neurotransmitters of adenosine receptors. Caffeine also affects other neurotransmitters, including noradrenaline, dopamine, and acetylcholine, which affect mood and mental state, which improve brain function. It should be said that in order to better benefit from the properties of coffee, it is appropriate to consume an average of 4 cups of coffee per day. However, it should be mentioned that the amount of caffeine in a cup of coffee depends on the type of coffee and brewing method. If you are wondering what the difference is between Robusta and Arabica coffee, do not worry. This means that a cup of espresso coffee, provided the amount of coffee is equal, has more caffeine than French coffee. Consumption of coffee is good for your health but in moderate amounts. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.